I see the messenger, the vision. Comrade, you were the first person I thought of when it came time to explore a musty ruin. That is meant as a compliment. Welcome to the ruins of Abagarlis, comrade. Ancient home to a foul den of necromancers and Molag Baal worshippers. We are here to relive the past. In Mazenelt, we saw a squad of soldiers on the run for their lives. Here, at Abagarlis, that same group was calm and in control. Together, we can see what they saw and discover what they knew about the Mortum Vivicus. After Mazenelt, I researched a way to take control of the visions we saw. Osterand was the ancient soldier charged with bearing the prismatic weapon into battle. It is through his eyes you will see. And, in turn, I will see through your eyes. The ancients stood against the Vivicus and survived. Now, Molag Bal makes ready to unleash the same relic against Tamriel again. It is my hope the courage of the long dead will save the living of today. Hold still just a moment, comrade. It's up to you, Osterland. You bear the prismatic weapon, and the hopes of everyone in Delodil. Lenath and Kurano will hold the door from this side. Velasha and I from the other. May the sunburst guide your sword arm, my friend. It's working, comrade. I can see the living past of this ruin through your eyes. Now let's move. My son. You must ensure I am not disturbed. Maintaining the final phase of the Mortum Vivicus requires all of my concentration.
That was Prince Malian, scion of evil King Anumar. He must have been left behind to defend the Vicus. By the light. That must be the Mortum Vivicus. My sacred child. Your life for the matter. the Vivicus to Cold Harbor. This doom will come again to Camriel. Comrade, over here. This is terrible, my friend. Osterand was on the verge of destroying the Vivicus and... nothing. The rapids have grown swift, and we did not even notice. Let me explain. Do you remember the notes you took from Dosha's lair? The ones that spoke of the Vivicus? I had assumed that this relic she spoke of was a legend. Even when I heard the words of Osterand, Endera, and their companions, I thought this was a threat from a time long forgotten. But, comrade, we just saw it. The Vivicus was never destroyed. You saved Merrick from a worm cult plot to harvest souls, remember? Those souls are fuel for the Vivicus. The intact Mortum Vivicus that Molag Bal has kept hidden all this time, safely tucked away in Cold Harbor. You must go to the Forge. Help Merrick Ediswala restore the prismatic weapon to its full potential. I would entrust this task to no one else, comrade. You go with the weight of the Guild on your shoulders. Just so, my friend. I believe it to be some kind of relic. A massive spell capable of holding and harnessing the souls of thousands upon thousands of dead. If it had been released. You saw through the eyes of Osterand, one of the valiant ancients that fought and died in Mazenalt to safeguard our future. According to what we saw, it was he who slew Queen Palolo and stopped the use of the Mortum Vivicus. Just so, my friend. I believe it to be some kind of relic. A massive spell capable of holding and harnessing the souls of thousands upon thousands of dead. If it had been released. If it is released. The world as we know it will end.
How was your research trip with the Guildmaster, comrade? Truly, what happened? Were the ruins infested with undead? Stendar's wrath would have served you in good stead. Comrade, did you say try? The Vivicus is not some long-destroyed legend. Then, when Dosha took me prisoner, she was to harvest my soul for this abomination? By all the eight! We should be moving. Aleph will await us here. Keep watch for any unfriendly faces. Come, follow me, and try to keep up. I helped to find this place years ago, Stendar's will. Comrade, this news is disquieting. I'm glad you're here with us. I've made preparations to work the prismatic crystal, to reforge the weapon from the time of the ancients. In truth, I thought this weapon would just be a powerful symbol. It seems we have great need of this important relic. Welcome to the Earth Forge. Quite a sight, is it not? Comrade, we must restore this weapon of old. Make ready for any new plots by the Prince of Lies. I feel the strength of Stendar flowing through my arms. Are you prepared? I shall work the anvil. Form the core. You will keep the fire at the proper temperature. Many and many times must the fire be stoked to keep an even flame and flow. Use the bellows here to stoke the flame just a bit. Use the valve to my other side to stoke it yet more. And for a truly fearsome blaze, pour fire salt on the coals. The lever just next to the valve releases pressure from the forge. But do not worry. I'm certain you'll do fine. Are you ready to begin? This equipment is very old and very delicate. Stend our willing. We must try to get it. Build me a small fire first. And I shall tell you when you are close. Ease up now. The fire is very close. Too hot, comrade. Cool it down with the lever. Release the pressure. We're almost there. Just a little more. Stendar's wrath, that fire is hot. Just a moment, comrade. I'll prepare the core. Now I'll need a larger fire, comrade. Double the heat of the last one. Not quite there yet, comrade. We've got a ways to go. Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can! Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. Ease up now. The fire is very close. It is too hot, comrade. Cool it down with the lever. Release the pressure. <laughs> Fire's dwindling. Keep at it. Almost there. Ha! 
Feel that heat? Just a moment and I'll prepare the core. Now we need an even hotter fire. The largest yet. Twice the size of the last one. Flames are starving. Feed them as much as you can. You're on the right track, but we need more. Much more. More. Make this fire remind me of... Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite... Ease up now. The fire is very close. What have you done? The pressure has grown too great. Now we have to start over. Be shy now. This fire's barely smoldering. More, more! Put the spurs to it. Give it all you've got. Give it all you've got. I need all the heat you can get. Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. Ease up now. The fire is very close. That's the fire I'm looking for. Stand back. I shall prepare the core. We've done it. Very well done, comrade. Excellent work, oh my comrade. Together there is nothing we cannot do. We are well on our way, I can feel it. We'll have to tinker with it to see what... Stendar's grace, what's that noise? Fools! Do you truly think you could hide that trinket from the god of schemes? The people of Abagala serve me even in death. My devoted. Kill them. Kill them and bring me the crystal. That blasphemy must not be allowed to be reforged. Bring that crystal to Cold Harbor. For the Lord of Brutality. Stay mewing wretches. My followers serve me, even in death. Stand our shield us. The Earth Forge overrun with undead. That was Molog Ball himself. Did you hear his voice? It made my blood run cold. I do not know. Perhaps he somehow can track the core itself? If the Prince of Lies is planning to use the Vivicus once again, the prismatic weapon is a threat to his plots. No, not just yet. We came so close. Don't worry, though. I can complete the final steps on my own. 
This weapon will yet see the light of day, mark my words. The Mortum Vivicus will yet be destroyed. You have the right of it. I'll speak with the Provost Generals and post some guards. If undead can come boiling up out of the mountain at any time, there's no telling what might happen here. Yes, we should be going. We must find Seize All Colors and inform her what has happened here. Lead on, comrade. By Stendar. Are you all right, Elif? What happened in there? How do these worms find the forge? We were finishing up when they appeared. They were after the crystal and tome. How did they know? How did they know about this place? Elif does not know. Merrick, this whole thing is madness. She has us hunting Daedra, and now they come calling on our doorstep. Elif, behind you! Elif, Merrick, I do not rest easily. Dark Moons, Guildmaster Iceblade, what's happening? I was murdered, comrades. Seek my killer. Let me find peace. Justin, wait. Who killed you? Interesting. Very interesting. Elif has her suspicions. This is unbelievable. Stendar's horn! We all thought the Guildmaster died in his sleep! I'm sorry, comrade. I knew Yafnir a long time. You're right. We need to report in. So much has happened. I think... I'll let Aleph lead the way this time. Come. Were you successful? Have you forged the weapon? We have more need of it now than ever, my friend, as you well saw. What has happened, comrade? I do not like the look on your face, or the scowl Merrick bears. <sighs> the god of schemes himself has taken notice of our quest. We're all in murky water now, comrade, and the current grows swift. What? Yafnir murdered? This is dire news, comrade. The Council must be told straight away. There will have to be an investigation. Thank you for standing beside us, on this of all dark days. Merrick, Aleph, and I will confer with the Council of Provost Generals. We'll want to talk about the attack and this revelation about Guildmaster Iceblade. We'll contact you again when there's more to discuss. Until then, comrade.